They're on the ropes. And when you have a great player like Allen Iverson, basically a one-man team here, leave all that stuff behind and come out with a performance like he had in the regular season. Right now his points way down and only shooting 35%. Yikes. Here's the Bud Light starting lineups with that great front line of Prince and the two Wallaces, Kyle Korver. They need some offense from him with Chris Weber and Samuel Dallenbear, who's done a superb job on the boards. And in the backcourt, Iverson and the rookie Igudala against one of the best backcourts, maybe the best in terms of two-way players in Hamilton and Billups. Iverson. Korver for three. All here, always the determination to come out and put on a good show at home. 8-0 run now, and Iverson stops with a good drive. The problem for Iverson, Bill, is it went with my coaches in the early days. <laughs> <laughs> Iverson fading down there, knocked away. Off balance, puts it in, and there's another steal. Iverson, Prince, and a foul. Prince does a nice thing helping up Iverson try to make one of those spectacular blocks again. But this time Iverson with a chance for the three-point play. These players better realize that Tayshawn Prince is coming. And he can cover so much ground. Allen slows down as if he got a simple gimme layup. And normally Allen Iverson will really extend there. But Tayshawn Prince with a supreme effort. He blocked one of those from Iverson in game one that was called a goaltend that shouldn't have been. We have seen some. That's beautiful team basketball by the world champions. Both teams shooting very well early. Weber. Sixers been turning the ball over recent minutes. Look how Ben Wallace races down to Iverson. Oh, okay. pretty shot from Allen Iverson. Another rebound. Dangerous pass. Iverson. Well, bailed out by him. Iverson, 8-0, they lead in bench points. <laughs> Iverson inside, and the lead has come to five. Find it at one for five, and Allen Iverson is averaging 24 and 10 assists in this series at any time. Weber is back in the game. Iverson puts it in. Iverson playing efficiently. He's six for 10. He's brought a little spark off the bench. Iverson again. That is exactly what Philadelphia needs. Team point lead, but Iverson and his teammates have climbed back into it. Forget with waving the white towels. No surrender in Allen Iverson whatsoever. Who can guard this guy in transition? Just too good, too quick. Average in NBA playoff history. Michael Jordan, the only one above heart. A whole plethora of guys coming to the hoop. Rodney Rogers able to find some lift somewhere. And then with Allen Iverson double team constantly, relentlessly. Other guys, Mark Jackson stepping away. And now he's of this series combined has 13 here in game three. Step out by Rasheed Wallace, forcing Iverson to back off. Iguodala wide open and knocks down a two. A huge scoring night to keep Philadelphia in it, wearing out of the defensive end. Tough shot that time. Oh. 19 for Iverson. And that is why I voted for Allen Iverson for first team all NBA. Iverson's ability to create for himself. It doesn't get any more difficult than that. You're going up against a guy who's younger, who's bigger, who's stronger, who can jump higher. The only edge that Iverson has is quickness. His fourth great outlet, something transition much needed here for Corver. Corver hits a three. He's just gambling so much, and the Pistons are making him pay every single time. Pistons eight for 13 from three. Iverson gets inside, count it, and one. He hasn't found a lot of room in the paint uh, that time with a three-point play opportunity. He's down that lane. Everyone is there. They're just waiting on him. They know that he, he disappeared. They've eaten him alive. <laughs> he just engulfed him, and he pops out the other side. It's like a circle on a giant tidal wave champion. He has to be careful now in terms of taunting the crowd or an opponent as Iverson hits the shot. Got a long way to go before the final minutes. What a change of pace by Iverson. Iguodala, hop step, knocks it down. Iguodala for three. Remember when they drafted him? The 80s was the dominant power of small forward. Here. Iverson just in a zone right now. Iverson with 26 points, nine assists. Watch Iverson right here. Everybody was going to... 
come in on Iverson along that baseline. There's five guys right there, but it's this man in the corner who's going to end up wide open. Right next time down, Iverson to the hoop. Everybody's thinking he might pass it this time, and the versatility of Iverson. And look at the shooting, and this is against perhaps the best defense in the NBA. Iverson, oh, tough shot! And the 76ers have regained the lead. Allen Iverson doing everything. So creative, so explosive. How does he get through there? He's got two guys blocking the shots. Allen, the littlest guy in the entire game, is just torching all these giants. One here. He's got Andre Iguodala to guard this guy. Rodgers, another three. Bang! He's not giving up. Iverson does his curly kneel impression. Corver, quick shot. Oh, Corver puts it in a three-pointer. Kyle Corver is in constant motion. He's just thinking, what's Iverson doing? But to try to read Allen Iverson's thought process in that situation, just be always ready to step right into it. And the fans enjoy chanting air ball. Hard screen set by Jackson. Opens it up for Iverson. Very often. Iverson. And Allen Iverson remains hot. What a great game. Show tonight. The high dribble. Puts it right down. That change of pace. Calls out Big Rashid and says, too late. But Ben Wallace with the career high. Not just career playoff high, but a career high in general. 23 points. He's not going to miss that shot very often. Iverson stepping back. No matter who they put on him, he's just too good. That's why he's a four-time NBA scoring champion. Too many times. That's the 14th turnover for the Pistons. Only seven for Philly. Weber knocks it down. Gatorade Cooler Talk. Everybody around the cooler figuring out what AI is going to do. Is he going to be able to bring enough? And certainly he has answered uh, those questions, taking it to everybody, often five at a time. Allen Iverson, they can't control the guy. Torching him with teardrop jumpers, runners down the lane, impossible to describe shots. And that is our Gatorade Cooler Talk. Before the game, wanted to get a little luck, a replica of the Larry Brown Trophy. Young fan got a thrill. <laughs> Oh, an efficient game, an unselfish game. Now that's what I like. Hits a three. Allen Iverson from downtown. And a lead back up to nine. Timeout Detroit. <laughs> 35 points, 15 assists. Chris Webber setting it up with a little dribble handoff. That developing chemistry between these two stars. The dream of Billy King and Jim O'Brien to put it all together, and that dream is happening right now. Couldn't deliver, they just pummeled it. The crowd chanting MVP right now for Allen Iverson. Iverson was brilliant with 37 points and 15 assists. Detroit still leads the series two games to one. But the 76ers feeling a lot more confident. Coming up next on ESPN Game 3, the Kings and Sonics live from Sacramento. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Bill Walton, producer Ed Fibershoff, and director Jimmy Moore and our entire crew, this is Mike Green saying so long from Philadelphia. Let's send it to John Saunders and the gang back in our Times Square studio.